in progress, Oregon and USC. Justin Herbert took a low shot in this one, but he would be okay. Just over 10 minutes left in the second quarter. USC up 10-0. That won't last. Herbert taking it himself. This is what he, he can do this. I mean, he has enough athleticism to be able to get things done like this with his legs. And the patience, too. Jalen Red sheds the tackle, 14-10. Now 20 seconds later, Keaton Slovis, Brady Breeze. Mm-mm. Oh, that's more than a breeze. Yes. That's a strong win. Freshman mistake. 21-10 Oregon. Last 20 seconds of the first half. Uh, this was huge. This, this was the biggest play for Oregon, in my opinion, right before half. Michael Wright, one. 100 yards, the century mark. Right before half. That's a killer. At that time, I think the score was 21-7. I mean, 21-17, right? 28-17. And then the rest is history. Herbert, Juwan Johnson, Penn State football transfer. I get a bonus every time I say that. Puts Oregon up 42-17. Johnson's second touchdown of the night. I mentioned he went to Penn State. Transfer to Oregon. Like the uniforms better. <laughs> it's 55-17 with 6.50 to go. Oh. Three picks thrown by Keaton Slovis. Herbert, just five interceptions. And look at that, Juwan Johnson, the transfer from Penn State. Three receiving Easy touchdowns. cover for the Ducks. Quack, quack. The over easily hit. Set at 60 and a half, and yep. Oregon had put up 56 with 6.50 to go. BMAC, where does the Pac-12 fit into the national conversation? Uh, nowhere right now. No, nowhere at all. I think, you know, with the uncertainty in their conference, and you clearly your two best teams in both divisions have one loss, I felt like going into this college football season, in order for the Pac-12 to have a representative in the playoffs, they would need to be undefeated. And clearly, Oregon, they have one loss. Mm -hmm. Utah ha has one loss. And look at the uncertainty throughout that conference and also monitoring what's going on throughout the other Power Five conferences. There has to be a lot of chaos as far as un unexpected losses to other big time teams for the Pac-12 to get an invite mm -hmm. into the playoffs right now as we see it. You like Utah, though, a lot, huh? Yes, I, I like Utah because I think they have the best defense and when healthy, they have, they have the best backfield. Tyler Huntley might not blow you away with his statistics, but he's a very, very smart, efficient quarterback. I love his ability to be accurate, not to mention completing a lot of his passes. And then Zach Moss, I said earlier that I think he's the most underrated running back in college football. He continues to show up big time for that offense and not just running the football, but catching the football. I mean, two total touchdowns today, five crucial receptions. Mm -hmm. uh, every catch he had today was huge. And looking at how he just carved up running rushing yards. 27 carries, those are big time carries against a real style defense on the road. And like I said, when they're healthy, this team can play football. And their defense, a lot of people are not talking about their defense, but before today's matchup, they had not allowed a touchdown in the previous two ball games. That's outstanding stout play. So for me, if you had to pick Oregon or Utah, I think right now I would side with Utah. And what do you, what do you like about Oregon and what's the shortcoming with the Ducks? Well, I love their quarterback. Sure. I think he has an opportunity to be a real good quarterback, not just on the collegiate level, but in the NFL as well. He just needs to be consistent. And I think he continues to develop confidence. And I think the guys surrounding him, the offensive line clearly could be the best offensive line in that conference. But they need to show that every ball game. And defensively, they will make timely plays. I love their front. I love the guys in the back end. I, th I just think if you talk about a close, ugly ball game where the aerial attack is not uh, working, mm -hmm. can you get the job done running the football? I know Utah can get the job done. So I, 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 I just think... Herbert may be a better quarterback as far as potential and skill set, but being consistent, sometimes he looks the part and sometimes he does not. But tonight, 
they're getting the job done. I feel, I feel like this was a trap game because USC has played so well at home um, against their opponents, and their offense has been unstoppable at home with their trio of outstanding wide receivers. I feel like this could be a trap game for Oregon, but they proved me wrong tonight. All right, so it's probably, I mean, look, it, it matters for who's going to go to the Rose Bowl, but not for the playoff yeah. picture, whoever wins the Pac-12. Right now, you'd go with Utah? Yeah, right now. Okay. I, I would go with Utah. I think it would be an entertaining ball game. There's a lot of football left to be played, but I think if you were to see these two teams match up in, in a neutral setting, mm -hmm. Utah. Okay.